big thing is you're trying to just rebuild our BSU because I guess, like, we have the most kids in the district, and I found like, I feel like personally it's ironic like people don't want to step up and like represent you know your culture and things like that. And we all just discriminate. We like everybody in want to learn about anything, so it's just it's just crazy. We're gonna have a dance later on in the year. We were supposed to have one, but we got canceled. But we can have a venue, and then later on in the year, for some odd reason, our she wants to go to Peru, so I mean, we're in the roar to one. You think they would want to go to Africa with it, and that Ebola thing kind of happened? You know? <laughs> 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 yeah, Ebola, I guess. You know I mean? And I'm not trying to you know, die. I'm young. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> so, they're trying to go to Peru. So, I guess. So, yeah. And that's our vision. I have uh, my own business of also a scholar athletes and, and God gave me this formula. Two A's, two B's, two C's. It's a three point out. When I first introduced that athletes like, you lying mm -hmm. coach. <laughs> they said other words like this. I'm going <laughs> and I said, no, that's real. And they added it up and the F one came out, man, this could really work. I could actually get a three point out. And so we were actually able to get every athletic team at didn't see the high school to a three point. Yeah. Same thing we went into Grant did the same thing. And the thing is we need all your support. We have all you high school students in here. They were talking about junior high students. Eventually we want to get BSU clubs in the junior high. I know El, El Grove area they're doing that. That's our next goal. But we don't want to put this club into the junior high if it doesn't have the right message. So we, we got to really stay strong and really have a good message for these younger students that are following, it. they're looking up to you guys. So if you're out there cursing, stacking your pants, they're gonna be doing that. You know, I had a younger brother and, and my thing was to present the, the best example for him. This is, a young, this is a young man, he came from this program and he, the thing was we weren't able to carry this program further because we, we didn't get enough support from the community. So we, we really need that. But this young man, he, he was a part of this program. He's going to share with you his experiences and why we need programs like this in the future. Our members, as a member of um, AFJ, I like to say that this is a really great program and should be shared with everybody. What this program has done for many, many students is giving them a chance to relive their eighth grade year with me meeting people that they usually don't see because we're just so spread out within classes. Mm -hmm. Like you meet like one or two black people in your school or in your class. So you need to get to know these people and what this program says, let you know them and get to be friends with them and get to intertwine with them, not just from your own school, from schools from all around Modesto City Schools. And with most of the board members that I know, which not really a lot, but Jordan Wilson, Jordan Dixon, my dad, he has really been a part of this when it was the at the Gallo Center, when it was at I Love Modesto. That was, I want to thank you for that because you showed that the board really does care about this program. And the program has done, the board has done a lot for the program, but, but the board can do a lot more for the kids. And what I'm trying to say is that if you, um, I know that y'all are busy, but if you were to walk some of the school, down some hallways of school, y'all would be shocked at what y'all would see, what y'all would hear, mm -hmm. and what we had to go through in a day. Mm -hmm. But this program has given the African American students something to actually live for, something that they can look forward to in middle school. They actually give, like that kid that got in trouble a lot, he wanted to do impress these people because they were working. Jocko and Jock, they don't have to come down here. They don't have to be with us, but they give up their own lives, their private lives to come help us. And we need to be more thankful, show more support as parents and as students of this program. I just want to thank the board for what they have done, but also do more. Thank you. Thank you. Really, I was, when I, I wasn't able to be there, but I, I was able to see this clip like all of you now. And the thing was, I, but I was on all those trips. And this, that young guy, I mean, he was always talking and I had to keep telling him, that, you know, he was kind of getting out of his seat on the bus. So when I saw that, I would have never expected that. You know, that was just laying dormant in him and, and it came out so eloquently. This young man, eighth grader, he, <laughs> I would say he speaks better than I do. You know, that was, he was really on point. He, not rehearsed. You see, I need my script. He didn't need a script. That was that was straight from the heart. You know.